Hi, I'm Congressman Ted Yoho, and this is part of a video series I'm doing to provide an overview of our proposed agriculture guest worker program. Right now, I want to focus on the GWIC card and mandatory national e-verify found within our proposal. Once an applicant passes the background check, they are admitted to the program and are selected for a job within an agricultural employer in the United States. Then they become the participant. Then they will receive an identification card referred to the guest worker identification card that we call GWIC that verifies their status as a participant in the program. The GWIC shall include a 15 digit numerical identification number that shall be used for tax withholdings and verifying a guest worker's employment approval to work in the agriculture, hospitality, or construction sectors only. The initials AG will be embedded in the GWIC designating approval for an individual to work in the agricultural sector. With hospitality, it'll be an HP code, and in construction, it'll be the CS code. The identification card shall include a photograph on the front and information that the DHS, Department of Homeland Security, deems necessary for irrefutable identification, such as fingerprints, retinal scans, DNA, blood type, or facial recognition. For the Agricultural Guest Worker Program, the Secretary of Agriculture shall ensure the integrity of the GWIC program, including restrictions on the amount of replacement cards a participant will be able to receive. The, pro the proposal right now is for one replacement in a five-year period of time. Again, family members residing outside of the U.S. will not be permitted to enter the U.S. unless they are accepted into the program and are a minimum of 18 years of age However, they can also apply individually to the guest worker program. For the hospitality and construction industries, the Department of Labor will issue the GWIC card, man, uh, the mandatory E-Verify after passage of this legislation and all rules have been promulgated, mandatory national E-Verify will go into effect only once 75% of the anticipated workforce have been enrolled into this program. Following the 75% labor fulfillment, Employers will be required to use the federal government E-Verify system. Failure to do so will incur a $2,500 fine per participant employed outside the E-Verify system, with repeat offenses subjecting the employer to increased fines and a possible prison sentence. For more information about our agriculture guest worker proposal, please visit my website at yoho.house.gov and click on our legislation tab. And thank you for watching.